Hello everyone, my name is Sumedha and in this lecture we will study about dimensional analysis. So in dimensional analysis we have three terms mass, distance and time. Mass is denoted by capital M, distance is denoted by L and time is denoted by T. So in terms of these three, we will define our every equation in terms of M, L and T. So let's start. If we calculate speed, that is equals to distance upon time. So for distance we have L and for time we have T. So speed say V is equals to distance L upon T which is L T minus 1. So the dimensions of speed is L T minus 1. Similarly if we have acceleration that is equals to velocity upon time. So, on substituting the dimensions of velocity, that is equals to L T minus 1 upon T, which will give me L T minus 2. So, this is the dimension of acceleration. Similarly, we can calculate for work, for force, for force, which is equals to mass into acceleration mass is denoted by capital M so capital M and dimension of acceleration is LT minus 2 LT minus 2 so the dimension of force is MLT minus 2 similarly we can calculate for work that is force into displacement Force K dimensions hai M L T minus 2 into displacement is by L. So now we have M once L 1 power and L 1 power. So the bases are same and power gets added. So on solving this I will get M L 2 T minus 2. So this is the dimensions of work done. Similarly, we can calculate for gravitational constant. For gravitational constant, we know F is equals to G mass of one body mass of second body upon R square. We have to calculate dimensions of G because force ke hume pata hai dimension kya hai, mass ka pata hai, R ka pata hai. So using this we will calculate G. So we have G is equals to F R square upon M1 M2. So substituting the value force ka dimension ML ML T minus 2 into R square that is L square upon M square. So on solving this we will get 1m cancels with 1m and I will get m minus 1. Bases are same power will edit for L. So L cube and T minus 2. So these are the dimension for gravitational constant. So this is how we can calculate dimension for a equation or for a quantity. So now we will see how these dimension analysis help us. We will see application of dimension analysis. So first application we have to check the accuracy of a given equation. For example, we have an equation provided hai. using dimension analysis. We can check kar sakte hai ki jo equation is accurate hai ya nahi. So let's take S is equals to ut plus half at square. This is a very famous equation. Now using dimensional analysis we will check whether the equation is accurate or not. So here S denotes the distance. 
so s is given by l u denotes the velocity dimension of velocity is lt minus 1 time t plus half acceleration is given by lt minus 2 and time again in given by t so if dimension of this quantity matches with dimension of this quantity and matches with dimension of this quantity then we will say our given equation is accurate. So on left hand side we have L which is equals to now if we will solve this equation t power minus 1 and t power plus 1 will goes to t power 0 so we will get here only L and for this t power minus 2, t power plus 2, again let me t 0 and we get here only L. So that means the dimension of this matches with this and also with this. So that this equation is given equation is accurate. Now next application is to derive relation between various terms. So for this we have force is directly proportional to mass, velocity and R. Say so equation 1. Force is equals to some constant k, m, v, r. So now we will change the terms accordingly to the dimensions. So the dimension of force is m l t minus 2 which is equals to k. Dimension of mass is m. Dimension of velocity is l t minus 1 and dimensions of r is l so next step is to locate the powers a uh, unknown value to the right hand side for example we have m so we'll take m to the power a for velocity b and for r c next we'll solve it little bit and unite the powers for example m to the power a because the equation mein m a ki hai next we have l so l is b plus c bases are same power gets added next we have t which is equals to minus of b so from left hand side and right hand side of the equation we will compare the powers of m l and t so from here the power of m is 1 and from here the power of m is a. Bases are same so we will say a is equals to 1. Next we have time t minus 2 is equals to t minus b. Bases are same so minus 2 is equals to minus b. So the value of b is 2. Next we will compare for L, L power 1 is equals to L power B plus C that means B plus C is equals to 1. We have a value of B, B is 2 plus C equals to 1, C is 1 minus 2, C is equals to minus 1. Now substituting the value of ABC in the equation we will get force is equals to k m power 1 v power 2 and r power minus 1 or force is equals to k m v square upon r which is the formula or expression for centripetal force. So next application is to convert one system into another. So here we are given a question for work convert one joule into CGS. Joule is the SI system and in we have to convert into CGS system. So again mass denotes M, distance denotes L and time denotes T as we did in the previous power A, power B and power C for the dimensions 
and n1 n2 are the given quantity here this is given 1 so we'll do si and cgs so for si n1 is given 1 n2 we have to calculate for cgs mass m1 is 1 kg mass m2 is 1 gram l 1 meter l2 1 centimeter t1 1 second t2 1 second so this is a tabular form for si and cgs we have written in terms of si and cgs now we will substitute the value into this formula. N2 we have to calculate. N1 is given 1 upon mass M1 1 kg M2 1 gram to the power A L1 1 meter 1 centimeter to the power B 1 second upon 1 second to the power c now to calculate a b and c we have given work that means we are converting system for work so the dimensions of work dimensions of work are m l square t minus 2 so from here we'll compare m has 1 power so a is equals to 1 b is equals to 2 and c is equals to minus 2 so now substituting the value n2 is equals to 1 1 kg we can write as 1000 gram upon 1 gram to the power 1 1 meter as 100 centimeter upon 1 centimeter to the power 2 and 1 second upon 1 second to the power minus 2. This will cancel out gram cancel with gram, centimeter cancels with centimeter. So we have N2 is equals to 1, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 2 ka square. So we will get n2 as 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 4 which is equals to 10 to the power 7 cgs so we'll say 1 joule is equals to 10 to the power 7 of cgs this is how using dimension we convert one system into another next we have errors Errors generate usually with two things. One is experimental error and other is human error. Jo error experiments mein ho ya experiment ke instruments se ho that are experimental errors or jo observations lene se ho galat observations record karne se ho that are human errors. Similarly, we have different type of errors. One, constant error. Jo error repeat ho rahi hai with the same magnitude in every observation that means the magnitude of the error is not changing we term it as constant error instrumental error jo error instrument ki wajah se hai inbuilt instrument mein hai that is instrument error sometimes we call it as zero error observational error which is done during taking observations that is observational error Error due to external causes, for example, due to temperature, pressure, heat, unki vaja se, unke change honi ki vaja se, jo experiment mein errors aati hai, that are, ex, that are error due to external causes. Random errors, that means her value, her value pe observation lene pe, we are recording different type of error. Then we'll sum all the errors divided by the number of observation, we'll get a random error. Absolute error. Absolute error is the difference of true value and measured value which is given by this. Next we have relative error. This is the fraction of absolute error to the true value. And percentage error is 
मल्टीप्लाइंग द रिलेटिव एरर इन टू हंड्रेड विल गिव मी वाई परसेंटेज एरर ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट डायमेंशन एंड एरर्स